In fact, you had predicted this back in May that perhaps uh, Amazon would buy Whole Foods, saying that just because of the urban locations, this would be worth it. They could close them down, the stores that is, and just turn them into warehouses, and I think they could justify the price. How do you see this deal working? Uh, hi, Scarlett. Good to be with you. Um, I think this is this is a game changer. You're effectively you're going to have Amazon in the wealthiest, most affluent households, not once every other week, but twice a week now. This threatens not only retailers, but it potentially disrupts CPG companies who Amazon is firing with half a billion consumers and fanatical investors that give it almost infinitely cheap capital to starch the margin from brands on behalf of consumers. And then you talk about you know, potentially disruption in the media market as shopper and in-store marketing gets challenged by what Amazon's going to do with their technology to let people bid on in-store marketing. This is, this is, this is really, I believe this is going to be make the Facebook acquisition of Instagram the mm. second back best acquisition of the decade, and this will be number one. So when you, uh, you mentioned the uh, threat to CPG companies, consumer packaged goods, are you suggesting we're going to walk into a Whole Foods if we do, and it's just going to be filled with sort of Amazon private label goods for everything, and all these uh, companies' margins are going to have to chase down Amazon? That's exactly right. It will not only be private label, but Amazon will put their sort of no mercy, no malice algorithms and bots to work. And the moment those brands are no longer the best value, they get kicked out. So where you see growth in the CPG and in the consumer market is in the long tail, whereas in tech, you see growth in the short tail, fewer players reaping more of the games. But in consumer, you see the long tail growing. And Whole Foods has relationships with those brands. Amazon knows how to bring life to them with user reviews and discovery for the consumer. And it all spells trouble for CPG brands. 90 of the 100 largest CPG brands in America lost share last year, and 60% of them lost revenue. This is ugly, not just for retailers, but for some of the biggest CPG companies in the world.